I, I think that most people are ready to get to work and keep working to educate the children and get stronger and stronger. That's right, getting back to work after the VC summer shutdown. Will today hundreds of laid off workers continue searching for employment? Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight for ABC Columbia News at 6. I'm Alicia Barnes. And I'm Josh Berry. The clock is ticking for many of those impacted by this. Today was the first career push of the governor's initiative to help those laid off VC summer employees. And it was all about landing a job in Chapin. Mm -hmm. ABC Columbia's Gabrielle Franklin joins us live right now in the studio on more on today's event. Gabby? Alicia, Josh, many former employees seem eager to get back to work as this is something that they're dealing with each and every day that goes by. But as I found out, the fairs are not only designed to help those workers, but the entire community around them. Employee South Carolina doing this for us, it helps us out a lot. Sylvester Terry is one of the many residents of Fairfield County who came out to Chapin for the first employee SC job fair. He says his wife was one of the thousands who lost their job in Jenkinsville, and his company will soon face the same fate. Dural Fibers in Winsboro, South Carolina, they're closing down September 11th, so this is a good opportunity for me to look for a job. We want to put these people back to work. These are highly skilled highly skilled people and you, you know they don't grow on trees. Governor McMaster says he is pleased to see hundreds of job seekers interacting with employers on site. I tell you, there are a lot of qualified workers in this room right now and there are a lot of uh, uh, highly interested employers that have several hundred jobs open right now and we're just trying to match them up. One company ready to connect with applicants is Michelin. Right now, Michelin, we as a company, we have a great need to fulfill some very specific skills that just don't come about every single day. So this opportunity uh, to, to grab some of these folks right now who can become a part of our Michelin brand are very, very important. Despite the circumstance, Terry remains hopeful that his community will recover. Because one door closed, another one opened, jobs will come back, but as of right now, it's just hitting us hard with jobs around us shutting down. Now, if you missed today's fair, there's no need to worry. Employee SC will host another fair this Wednesday at the Columbia Metropolitan Convention Center. For now in the studio, Gabrielle Franklin, ABC Columbia News. All right, thank you so much.